Hi Libra, welcome to your Valentine's special forecast. Now this is only for singles, okay? Let's take a look if you will be meeting the right one or will it be another lesson to learn? Now please take note that this is only a quick forecast and not really a full out reading. Alright. You want to know more? You can get your own personalized readings at my website. Uh huh. Be careful in meeting somebody who's already married. Libra. Don't be such a fool. This person is, I feel like, you know, they're very, they talk smooth. They're a sweet talker and they know how to weave their in and out of a uh, person's life and even pants. So be very careful. Ah. You're going to give this person a chance. And, uh, well, the sad part is you don't even know that this person is already married or already with someone else. Alright. Mm -hmm. Let's ask for more clarifications on this. What is the sign of this guy or this person? Oh, it's a water sign. Alright. Mm -hmm. Okay, now there's actually another person that you that you will be meeting, which is a fire sign, and I feel like this is the one that might as well just end it, just end up in a relationship with, rather than being with someone who's already married. Okay, you know what's the karma for that? And uh, huh. It seems like this person is just. Um, around you very near you very close to you or it could be just right next to your cubicle okay but this person is not that far you already know this person by face but not by name and within the next hmm, actually it's not even hmm. when will you be meeting this It seems like around the 11th. It, sh it should be before the 14th. 11th or 12th that you will be meeting or bumping into this person since that they've been eyeing on you for like a long period of time and they are just waiting for the right opportunity to present themselves or introduce themselves to you because they've been very interested and they've been looking your way but you're not really paying attention. But be very careful, okay, because this person is already committed, married, and they're going to lie about it. You know, they only want to have a sexual affair with you or they are very interested, you know, with the what's the mystery behind that uh, reserved personality. Now, this is a water sign and they've been ogling at you or they've been observing you. They've been looking at you. They've been waiting for you. And even if, you know, this person is very interesting and uh, very talkative. As I've said, they're very smooth. They know how to weave their in and out into a person's life and pants. And, uh, you know, they're also a very people person. They're charming. They're, you know, they're funny and uh, catchy. Okay. But this is just a waste of time. Okay. Don't go for somebody who's already married because you know what, you know, what's going to be the karma for that. But I feel like you're going to be giving this person a chance. Now, alongside for that is that you will also be meeting another fire sign that's just around your age. Even though this person seems a little bit uh, not as intelligent as you want them to be. They're just pretending to be intelligent. So, it seems like you will try to, you know... It seems like you will try to choose between this person and then the other person. But I feel like might as well just go for the single one. Even though you will have a lot of chemistry or connection with the, uh, you know, with the, with the water sign. But you have to think long and hard about this. 
whether you really want to get reconnected with this person and be used, you know, by their uh, sexual thing. Because I feel like their partner or their wife or whoever they're with right now is uh, actually pregnant and they can really score. Okay? Now, as far as your sexual chemistry is concerned, <laughs> I don't feel like this person can definitely satisfy you as well. Okay? And I feel like this person is into toys or into some other gadgets. You know, like, uh, like, um, they, they love throwing a show just for the sake of it. And, you know, you're not really into that. Okay? You want a very warm, passionate, fiery, and sizzling, okay? Love making, not just sex. But this person is all about games, all about sadism, okay? And it looks like they also wanted to be Mr. Gray. So. I, sexually, I don't feel like you're going to be very comfortable with this person. But you will enjoy the company definitely. Because of their personality. And they're very bubbly. And, you know, they're... It's like they... They can definitely make you smile and uh, make you laugh. Okay? And it's been a while since you will have that kind of laugh. Um... Uh, Ever since you broke up with someone. Okay? But. Um, if you really want to. You know. Might as well just go for the single fire sign. Intellectually they're not really within your level. But. Or otherwise if you just want to wait out for another person. Which is. I can only. You know. Read you. Whatever the cards will be saying here. Or the, whatever the cards will be revealing. But otherwise. You know. It's already up to you. And uh, this other person, how will you be meeting them? It will be through a friend. Or it will be through a blind date that uh, your friends will be setting you up with this person. Because they are also trying to look for somebody for this person for a long period of time. But little, they, little did they know that this person have a secret life. Okay, that's another interesting thing. Okay. Now let's take a look at your... Oracle cards, what are the things that you have to learn for your next relationship? Worthiness, action. Retreat. Belief. Find your own self-worth. You know what you really deserve. And you know if you actually deserve being the side dish of a person or someone. Okay, take action and take initiative. And uh, you're the only one who can wail out the, the changes and the desires that you really want to see in your, in your life or in your, uh, you know your relationship and I feel like you need to have some more faith if you feel like this too will be showing some more red flag signs and there are a lot of gray areas sorry <laughs> gray areas in a relationship then I feel like it's uh, it's time for you to retreat okay it's time for you to take a few steps back and believe that the universe will still be giving you whatever you really deserve all right so anyway that's it for you for this Valentine's Libra. And if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live with the calls, just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. Blessings to you.